Hey guys, tonight we're gonna have one of these Oprah That's Good pizzas. This is the classic crust with a twist of cauliflower. The flavor is the uncured pepperoni pizza. It's low moisture, part skim mozzarella cheese and an uncured pepperoni on a crust. Um, it is, the twist is one third of the classic crust is made from cauliflower. So it's, it's two thirds flour, I guess, and one third cauliflower. Uh, calorie wise, it is one fifth of the pizza is 320 calories. And let's see the directions. Okay. So you want to heat your oven to 400 degrees, place the oven uh, frozen pizza directly on the middle rack, and bake for 18 to 21 minutes or until it's brown on the edges. So we'll probably do ours for 21 minutes because we like ours a little uh, brown. We bought these at Meyer. They were $6.99 a piece, which is not the low end of pizza, that's for sure. So there's uh, what it looks like. Once I get it open, I'll probably redistribute some of these pepperonis to where it evenly covers it up. So um, I'm gonna get this in the oven and then I'll be back uh, in a few for you. Okay, here it is out of the oven and it was in for 21 minutes. It looks really good. Um, it's not as greasy as some of the other pepperoni pizzas we've tried. So I, I do have to say that for it for sure. So I'm gonna cut this into six slices for us. And I'll let you see the bottom too. I don't think it got as crisp as some of the other crusts out there, but not too bad. So I'm gonna get this on a plate and uh, we'll try it out. Okay. We are here. And Kevin's right, this doesn't have near the grease as some other pizzas. Mm, no. Mm. Mm-hmm. My glasses even fogged up from that. <laughs> I think that's good. Sorry, I got crust stuck in the roof of my mouth. Oh. Um, it's very doughy. The crust is very thick. I mean, it's almost like a, a semi pan. It's like it's not thin, it's not, it's more of a thick hand toss pizza. It's kind of thick. It's a little doughy. Okay. I think. If you eat the crust by itself, you taste the cauliflower. Yeah, yeah, you do. And the and the two the pepperoni really doesn't have a strong. I mean, it's there, but I like a little bit more of a spicy pepperoni, and this right. is not it. So if you um, like spicy pepperoni, you're not gonna like this. No, this is just plain pepperoni. Um, and I will tell you, we made one of these last night. Mm -hmm. And when you're in the house while it's cooking. You don't smell the cauliflower, or we didn't. We left the house though, and we came back, and when you came back into the house, the whole house smelled like cauliflower. Mm. And it's like, oh gosh, that stinks. It was weird. Um, yeah, it, it's not, I don't think cooked cauliflower is a good smell. So, right now, uh, and I'm mm. actually tasting, yeah, okay. you can taste it big time. I like raw cauliflower, I'm weird. I like it raw, but I don't like it cooked. And I don't mind it cooked. But, but I was hoping in this pizza that you wouldn't, that they would sneak it in there. You know, like a parent sneaks in your vegetables into your food. I was hoping that they would sneak it in there and you wouldn't really taste it. You can taste it. You can taste it. And, yeah. And the bad thing is the the sauce doesn't have a lot of flavor. Mm -mm, no. And the pepperonis really don't have, I mean, it's there, but no. it doesn't have, I mean, it's not horrible pizza. It's it not it bad. But the flavors of everything on top of it really don't overwhelm the right. taste of that cauliflower and the crust. So you end up with this taste of cauliflower as an right. aftertaste. And now, with more flavor. I will tell you too that um, if you compare the calories to this with a Screaming Sicilian, it's about the same. It's about the same calories. A normal screaming Sicilian, not the pan. The normal screaming Sicilian pepperoni, the cal, if you only look at calories, it's about the same. Right. Now, if you look at the uh, fat and Cholesterol. the fiber and, and uh, sodium and stuff like that, this is better for you. This is, this has, uh, that is lower. The numbers are lower for those. So this is better. Um, if you look at the carbohydrates, this pizza is actually higher. Um, so if you're counting calories only, only calories, I would definitely go just a regular, just a regular experiment to see a pizza. I mean, why not? But if you are looking at those other numbers, which most of you do, 
um, then this is the one that's better for you. Right, right. Just know that it's going to have a little bit of an aftertaste of cauliflower, and none of the rest of the toppings really are that exciting. I would not point. buy this again. I wouldn't either. No. If, the, if the toppings were better, I might. Right. But the toppings are just mediocre. So right. For me, it's just like I'd rather buy just something else. Buy something else, yeah. So, so I will have a picture uh, for you at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.